The Democratic Alliance has resolved to charge its mayor of Cape Town, Patricia De Lille, with misconduct and for bringing the party into disrepute. The decision was announced by the party president, Musa Maimane, a short while ago. The federal executive has resolved that if, like any leader, like in any other organization, faced with all the challenges that are before you, you have to take serious action. You have to take uh, the fact that you've considered all the preliminary evidence, you've considered the prima facie evidence that has been tabled before the city, and as a party, we hold our constitution high. Therefore, we have made a decision to formally charge and invest and, and ask that the party's federal legal commission investigate the mayor that those charges preferred against her say that in fact either as our constitution outlines in 2.5.4.2 that she's deliberately acted in a manner which impacts negatively on the image and performance of the party that as it says in 2.5.4.4 fails to carry out his or her duties and responsibility according to the standards by the federal council or the party or the relevant and provincial or regional council or standards required by any or statutory uh, rules of conduct required by the public office he or she holds. 2.5.4.5 brings the good name of the party into disrepute and harms the interests of the party. 2.5.4.6 acts in a manner that is unreasonable and detrimental to internal cooperation in the party. And then 2.5.4.7 unreasonably fails to comply with or reject decisions of the official formations of the party. And these charges are preferred in the sense that if you lay out the charges, with relates to the first one, it comes out of the question around the text message that was sent around, which is the undue interference in the administration. That when you look at improper conduct and unlawful, it was the appointment of, in fact, Limia Esop into the stadium management board and this matter must be then investigated. That in fact she's acted in an improper manner and failed to exercise her duties as displaying sound judgment by failing or refusing to ensure that the performance of the incumbent commissioner of the Transport Development Authority of the city of Cape Town, Melissa Whitehead, and more specifically allegations of poor performance to be properly investigated or taken into account before the appointment processes that leads. When it comes to the question of having failed to perform duties and responsibility according to the FM. Uh, finance, uh, the Municipal mm -hmm. Finance Management Act and the Municipal Systems Act that she's failed to refuse to report and properly account to council in the city of Cape Town regarding irregularities and financial losses reported to her in respect of the contract in the city. The question raised about whether she's failed to perform her duties and responsibilities according to the standard of the Federal, Exe federal Council and the party or the Municipal Finance Management Act and the Municipal System Act in that she failed or refused to report and properly account to the Council of the City of Cape Town regarding irregularities with the bid evaluation uh, process. That she's failed to perform her duties and responsibilities according to the standards set out by the Federal Council of the party in the Municipal Finance Management Act and the Man Municipal Systems Act in that she failed or refused to take all responsible remedial and corrective steps to ensure that Cape Town performed its constitutional and statutory functions by refusing and failing to act in a reasonable or in a proper manner in respect of financial losses in incurred through the contract in respect of the My City project as well as the Volvo chassis matter. That she's acted in an improper and abusive manner in providing leadership to the caucus of the party that through her words or action intimidating or belittling caucus members who did not agree with her. Refused to accept the official decisions of the party uh, and I think all of these will be then matters that will be prosecuted by a federal legal commission, giving the mayor of the city of Cape Town the right, in fact, to be able to respond to the allegations. We would take it that they are serious enough that it is important for her to charge her, to charge her in contravention of our constitution, to put, in fact, direct leadership into the caucus and that all the matters of the Federal Legal Commission, that uh, the charges that have been preferred against other members of that caucus, be expedited.